What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I had somebody reach out to me asking about how to build this 3x3x3 puzzle cube in Fusion. I thought, you know, since I'm going to make a uh, helpless person out, let's go ahead and just make a video for it and then showcase what we got. So I'm going to go back and rewind our timeline just to showcase, you know, start from the very beginning. I'm going to model one cube and then create nine bodies from there. And then after those nine bodies, we're going to then create our 27 bodies. And then we're going to use the combine feature to make those bodies grouped together with how many of our parts we want it to be out of. And then we create those bodies as components. That way they're rep represented as their individual things. We can even, since I didn't put any joints in, uh, we could disassemble that, but we don't want to do that for now. Let's, however, Go ahead and click on new design. The first thing I'm going to do is create that new cube. So I'm going to do this right here. We're going to hit R for rectangle. And that's going to be a 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch cube. Pretty easy to do so far. All right. Looks great. Now I'm going to change my view because I did have those component colors displayed. Yours should be by default just a gray cube, so let's keep it there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the fillet command just to add, round it off, show each of those cubes a little bit better. Um, at least that was the one that was sent to me, so let's model that as close as, as we can. I'm just going to click on fillet and then click on each face. And then that fillet radius is going to be 0 0.025. Alrighty, looks good. We can click home. Now we're ready to make our nine cubes. Unfortunately, can't do linear rectangular pattern in three directions, or at least not that I'm aware of. Uh, no in our command prompt here, it says bodies. We'll keep those as bodies. Objects is clearly going to be the one cube we've made so far. And then axes, we're going to choose two different axes. We're going to choose, I'm going to choose the, the X and the Y axes. We're going to bring those out an inch and a half, because that'll be for three cubes. We'll do that in two directions. So now we've got nine bodies, or nine cubes, ready to roll. We're going to do like rectangular pattern one more time. Um, bodies is already selected, so I'm just going to highlight everything. And the axis direction is going to be up. So that way we can create 1.5 inches, and there we have our 27 cubes. So if I drop down my bodies tab, you can see I have 27 bodies as expected. However, we're going to now combine these into the pieces we want them to be. So let's go back in here in the view. And so, you know, I'm going to do my best to kind of follow what I've got here. So I'm going to create this, you know, green zigzag pattern, but I'm going to combine those bodies. How would I do that? Well, I'm going to click on combine. And then I'm going to click on that pattern I want and then click OK. All right. Now what should happen is we don't see any colors yet and that's OK because these are still bodies and not components. This display component colors, you can toggle on and off, but since they're not components yet, we can't see them. However, since they are spoken for, for lack of a better word, I'm going to find where they're on that in, the, in our browser and just make them inactive. That way we can continue to make other pieces. So let's do that again. Let's click on combine. Let's click on the pieces we want to combine together and then click OK. So just to find where that is in the browser, I'm going to click on it once, make it inactive, and then let's continue to make some other ones. What else do we have? I made uh, let's make our let's make another top piece. Let's do that. So I'm going to click on combine. Let's do a little L piece out in the front with a back piece there, kind of an upside down T, if you will. Then click OK. I'm going to click on it once to see where that body is in my browser, and that's body 13. I can go ahead and make that inactive, and then we can keep cooking forward. I think from here you can figure out what you want to do. For, uh, as best for what you want, building your piece and your part, your puzzle cube. And then we can keep on going. So I'm going to do two more. Um, let's do combine. Let's do something a little fun. Let's kind of go two different directions with it. Click OK. And then make that inactive. And then let's do one last one. 
where we have all of our pieces together. All right, everything is spoken for. So let's bring this together now. However, since they're not components, we can't actually move them. They're just bodies, they're just 3D bodies. So we have to create these as components. I'm gonna highlight all of them in my browser window. So I'm gonna click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one. So we have them all selected. You could also do this by highlighting all in the window. And we'll click on create new component. And what it's gonna do for me is it's gonna take those, well we have six different components right now, or six different bodies, and they're gonna create six components. And now we can see our colors since we have that display component colors toggled on. This can be helpful when you are looking at similar pieces, but they technically are different components of your assembly. It can just help see that color coding a little bit easier. And since they are components now, we can actually drag them out and move them around. But do not hit save position because then you're gonna change where these are calling home per se. So let's revert that position and then let's do something new. Let's do, or not something new, but something added on to it that I didn't do in the previous example. Let's do rigid group. So what I'm gonna say is, is that each of these are rigid to each other, meaning they're not gonna move based on where they're at. And since we did this top-down approach, everything is already modeled in the spot it needs to be in. So we can say is this piece is going to be rigid with this piece. And then we can click OK. And now what you see when I move one, it moves it all. All right. We can actually do rigid group with all of these. So all of these could be rigid with each other. Now it's hard to tell if I got everybody in, but let's click OK. Look at that. The whole cube doesn't move. There are separate components made up of individual bodies and they are all put in rigid with each other. So that way we can now move forward with either a disassembly or exploded view or a drawing view, and we know they will not move. There is one last thing though. We don't like this. We don't like it to be moving at all. So what we're gonna do a joint, and we're gonna do something new. I didn't learn this until this summer. Um, we are gonna do an as-built joint with the origin plane. So let's say this T piece is gonna be as built or in reference to the origin point. And it locks that in at that zero, zero point right there. And it is not moving. Now, I don't know about you, but I just find that fun because um, we don't need to do worry about fixing anymore with our grounding. You don't have to do any of that. It's just boom, done, and there we go. Uh, if I think it's requested, I can do a follow-up video on how to do an exploded view on the Puzzle Cube if you guys would like it. If not, you guys are awesome anyways. Stay awesome, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.